Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we are going to learn whether the entered number is an Amstrad number or not using a function. So we are going to write a function to check whether the number is Armstrong number or not. So in the previous program, program number 12, we have already seen the logic to check whether the number is an Armstrong number or not. So I'm going to use the same program. I'm going to modify it to create a function and I will call that function. So let's get started and let's see this now. So as always, you can type the code in any editor of your choice. You can use Starbucks editor, Dev C++ or Visual Studio Community Edition or any other editor of your choice. So I'm going to open the same program that I have explained you in the previous video of video number 12. So let me open the same program. Now author and I'm going to change the purpose and just a little bit change. So I'm strong number. I'm going to write here using function. So what we are going to do now is first thing when you want to create when you want to call a function or write a function the first step is you have to check you have to do a function declaration. So the first step I'm going to declare is I will check whether the entered number is Armstrong or not using a method bool and I'm going to write the function name as is is Armstrong and I'm going to write here int input so or int n. So this is the function that I'm going to create which will take one parameter the number and then it will return boolean if it is an Astro number. So inside this method method I'm going to write the logic to check whether the number is Astro number or not and then I will return true if it's Astro number else I will return false if it's not Astro number. So I'm going to give is Armstrong is the method name. So this is called function declaration and now I'm going to do function definition. So let me copy the same and I'm going to paste it below this and now I'm going to remove the semicolon and let's write this. So here I'm going to write the logic. So I'm going to reuse the same logic that I have used here. So I'm going to copy this and exactly the complete logic I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it inside the method. So let me declare the variable int yum and reminder. And what else I need? I need result. So result is equal to zero. So I declared the three variables in the local scope. So the variables that are declared inside this method are called in local scope. And then I don't need this variables. So I'm going to remove them later. So yum is equal to n while all the logic will happen. And if this is, I'm going, I need to return this as return true else you can return false in this case you can return false now remember you can also use a conditional operator in this case and we will see that in the later part anyway so if the value if it's an answer number I'm going to return true else I need to return false right and now uh, I will call the function instead of this logic now I need to remove everything so I just need to uh, read the value from the user in the main method and uh, I have to read the value from the user and I don't need this logic anymore so let me remove this because I have written a separate method for it I'm going to delete this and and let me delete this and then here I'm going to call if if is Armstrong so I'm going to check is and stone number so I'm going to do a function call and I'm sending the value n so if it is true it's an extra number else it is not an instrument that's it we are done so now let me execute this and see whether this works or not I'm going to execute the program and here I'm going to enter number 371 and you can see it's extra number and this time next time I'm going to enter the number which is not angstrom let's take 140 and which is not an angstrom number so this logic is working fine so now as i said here in this code below this four lines of code you can use conditional operator to change the four lines of code into a single line so we are going to use conditional operator so how to use conditional operator is we need to write result is equal to n question mark so if it is uh, true i need to return true and colon I need to return false now I just need to write here return that's it now we don't need this four lines of code anymore so what happens in this case is if this value is satisfied that will return true 
and this value is not satisfied that will return false the four lines of code now into this is called this way of writing is called conditional operator right now let's run this and check now whether this works fine or not I'm going to execute this and and let me execute this and uh, some compilers may not support it but 90 99% every compiler should support conditional operator I'm going to write here enter any number 371 it's working fine and okay so let's see this once again so I'm going to enter 371 you can see it's answer number and let me change the logic uh, let me change another number now I'm going to give 140 so you can see it's not an answer number okay so hope you are clear with this program and uh, do remember to subscribe for more videos and do share with your friends thanks for watching have a great day